Janet is a database administrator at a hospital and she has agreed uh, with her uh, new boyfriend to help him make some money by deleting some debt that uh, some some of people have in this uh, particular ho uh, hospital and of course uh, her boyfriend will be collecting a commission for deleting that debt and uh, her strategy is actually to insert some false payment records into the accounts payable database she has she's a DBA she has full access to it and that's what she's going to try to do but she's unaware of technologies uh, like uh, Curator, Cardium, XGS and PIM all not only working very well on itself but also very nicely uh, integrated. So Janet uses a common tool to peek into uh, uh, an Oracle database and she logs in with uh, her credentials and she noticed that in this particular hospital she doesn't get to know the password because precisely uh, Privilege Identity Manager is the one that checks in and out the credentials for her but okay she's, she's fine with that uh, she noticed that there is some activity for her, her her things to be recorded. She doesn't believe that that's the case. And she actually accepts that in order to get in into it. And she puts a justification. Say that she's going to be doing backups, which she actually does on, the, on those um, databases. Her credentials are inserted. And she has a particular file that she created uh, with the SQL commands to precisely erase all that debt. She also created a, a script that allows her to clean her tracks. Basically what she's going to do is deleting all the transaction records or the logs in order to make sure that she cannot be uh, trace back. Well, she should know better. So let's actually go ahead and perform uh, all the all the commands that she wants to do. She actually first needs to find the patient name, uh, her boyfriend's uh, uh, benefactor of this uh, particular action. So she runs the the command, and this is the actual guy. He has. Uh, some debt. Let's see what the debt that he has is. And he, she got her uh, patient ID from the guy. So she's gonna actually figure out the amount of debt. It's 50, 56 grand. So it's not a insignificant amount of money. And what she's gonna do is actually she's gonna run this next command, which is basically insert uh, the the false uh, transaction. Well, but she doesn't realize that something really happening here that doesn't allows her to actually uh, perform that action. What Janet did not know is that Guardium is actually protecting that database and he has detected some violation of the policy in which only accounting people can have access to this particular database. Even though she's a DBA, and she has full access to the database from the database perspective. Guardium is intercepting the transaction. And Guardium was the one who actually blocked her from actually uh, see that, uh, that information. But also notify Curator about it. So let's review what actually happened behind the scenes. So when Janet sent that transaction into the database, Guardium on the wire look at the transaction and realize that it's, it violates a policy because Janet is not a member of the accounting active directory group. So it actually resets the connection and that's she sees that the message uh, she didn't get anything back. But also Guardium sent a single syslog message to Curator indicating a policy violation that we saw on the console. Guardium from that uh, from that uh, particular uh, syslog message sent a, a message to a SDI listener 
a directory integrator, which in turn parse the message and realize that the action to be taken is to notify PIM to actually reset Janet's uh, credential or suspend her credentials. In fact, if we go into the Privilege Identity Management Console, we see that Janet's credential is actually inactive. So going back to Janet's uh, console, she's very concerned. She's never seen that message that intercepts anything that she tries to do on the database because she's been doing things that the Guardian policy allows. So she's going to clean up those logs, as I showed before. So she's going to log in into the database to run that script. Yes, your credential, of course, get me there quickly. I don't care. I'm in trouble right now. Oh, look at that. She gets a message saying that her credentials have been revoked. She no longer can actually access uh, the database. So that protection is actually pretty impressive, but uh, I don't know if you noticed that Janet's session not only did, in, did not get the result from the database, but also the, the session was completely closed. Because what happened is that, I mean, we can reset her credentials. That, that's actually something very, very good to do. But <laughs> if the person is already logged in, it doesn't matter. It's already logged in, so the credential resetting is not going to take place. And that's what the XGS uh, took care of. Because Curator has had a custom action in which it sent to the XGS a message asking it to actually terminate and to block any connection from Janet's uh, desktop. So the, the damage is, uh, is, is definitely contained. The transaction did not go through. Everybody is notified. And Janet would need to look for ways of getting out of uh, this uh, trouble that she put herself into.